what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here earlier earlier today or like literally a few hours ago some news came out in regards to our early draft of halloween 2018 with a different ending uh this ending would have completely changed any type of narrative progression for any future installments and it would have been like the third on-screen death of a particular character originally in halloween 2018 Apparently what they wanted to do was they were going to kill off Laurie Strode's character or Jamie Lee Curtis's character Laurie Strode. Laurie Strode was set to die. Uh, Bloody Disgusting broke this news earlier today and I have like an exclusive on it. I'm going to go ahead and read that uh, little section. It's from a draft from May 2017. It says after a tense moment, Michael turns and pursues Laurie into a room with a closet lit up and a throwback to the original. Michael attacks only to find he's been tricked and Lori isn't in there. As he walks back down the hall, Lori jumps out of nowhere and stabs Michael with a screwdriver. In the meantime, Jamie and Allison climb out of the window. Lori stabs Michael over and over until he drops the knife and grabs her by the throat. Jamie watches all of the action from outside of the window as Michael gets stabbed one final time in the neck as Lori goes limp and drops to the ground. Jamie then comes back in the house and goes on the attack pushing Michael out of the window. He vanishes into the night. Jamie and Allison then go to then go to Lori and confirm that she's dead. So from that I take from from what you can see there apparently the original name for uh Karen was Jamie. So I think that was going to just be an easter egg in reference to keeping uh Daniel Harris's character in. But at that point if you're not going to I don't know. I think there were actually plans or Daniel Harris said something about she tried to get Jamie into the film. So this might have been a part of that in that early draft. But I think since they never were able to tie her down, they ended up changing the character to Karen or that this could just be from a very early draft when uh, talks were probably in. They probably had plans to bring Daniel Harris back, but then they ultimately decided not to do that because they wanted to completely erase anything related to any of the other sequels. Um, this little i'm assuming this still takes place i guess this still takes place in that bunker that we see at the end of the film um uh, i wouldn't have minded killing off Lori. in in thinking one of my videos i think i made it clear that i thought she should have died i thought it would have been fitting for her i actually thought i still think that this should be the last michael myers movie i'm very i'd be very content if they didn't make another sequel or make any other michael myers movies uh the, the the film ended it on a high note it didn't end it with like a conclusive ending to the story or anything but it ended it on a note that was uh left to be interpreted by the audience similar to how the original did and the original was never supposed to have any sequels so for this to be the only real sequel to it i think that would have been fitting uh but from this ending i don't think it, there would have been any problems with laurie dying only issue I see is now you have to worry about picking up the narrative and extending it over with uh, future relatives of hers. And then you also have to consider the fact that now it seems like Michael has a motive. And that I think that's going against what they originally intended. He's supposed to be the absence of motive again. We're going back to the roots. Uh, very interesting. Because the reason I had always thought that Lori was going to die in the movie, I was actually shocked that she ended up living because I thought that Lori was going to die simply because of the simply because of what we saw in the trailers uh and it's in the way that jamie lee curtis was promoting it i thought it would have been a clever way to like trick your audience in the end and have her die because uh jamie lee curtis was promoting it as Lori finally takes back her narrative and i thought it just would have been fitting if Lori ended up dying uh jamie lee curtis is a big staple and she's a piece of this series so i'm glad she'll be around for future installments but if she did die in this film that wouldn't have bothered me that much because she's she paid her dues to this series. Lori Strode will always be a legend in regards to the narrative of this of this saga. Uh, Michael Myers and Lori Strode will always have some sort of connection, whether they're related or not, due to what happened in the original film. There'll always be that connection between them that can be traced back to the 1978 classic. Um, I don't really have much to say about this other than the fact that that was the original ending. It was going to end her story and then it was just gonna continue. If they did sequels, they were planning to just continue with, with Karen and um, Allison. So it appears that's not going to happen anymore since we now know that Lori, Allison, and Karen both survived at the end of the film that we actually ended up getting. Uh, 
let me know what you guys think about this information if if you would have been okay with Lori Stroll dying let me know down in the comment section below if you would not have been okay with it also let me know that down in the comment section if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up share it on all your social media platforms also if you haven't already subscribed or turn on post notifications in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies you would like me to review in the future also i'll have a link to this article in the very top of the description so that you can read it for yourselves but with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video